It's the Nia's world Vlogs plus she got reactions You should see this girl Going up she never lacking It's the Nia you see her Bringing flames man what Gotta shout out T gang Stand up stand up What is up with my gang? What is up with my squad? T gang in this thing. What's poppin' with y'all? What's up T gang? Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna be doing a story time and I also be giving y'all some reactions because I know I've been kind of falling back on my reactions. But today's story time is about to be kind of like another more recent story time, but it actually happened a couple months ago, kind of like the last, well not my last story time, but the one before that one. This one, the story time, I'ma title it, I had a I, I had a stalker because I, I would title it I have a stalker but technically it's not it's not I don't have a stalker anymore if y'all like this whole entire story time please don't forget to smash the like button comment something you want to see below comment what you would have did in this story because honestly I started freaking out a little bit and I haven't gonna lie you girls low-key scared I'm, I'm just being honest I was low-key scared also subscribe click the bell join the gang if you if you really like this story time i can give y'all more i just don't i i know y'all y'all be kind of iffy with my story time but if y'all like this story time then definitely subscribe because i do have a whole lot more stories to tell i just don't be knowing if y'all be wanting to hear my tea or hear me vent real quick because sometimes your girl just be wanting to vent to somebody you know but also follow me on my social media. Follow me on my Instagram, the real underscore is Tania's world. We're gonna get to the story time. So y'all actually, if, if y'all if y'all smart enough, y'all might be able to figure it out. But how I met this particular guy, I was, I wouldn't even really say we was talking because he never allowed it to get to that part of us talking. Cause literally instantly when he got my number, this is when the stalking started like it, it wasn't even like we was talking and then he started doing a little weird stalking stuff like it literally started the moment he got my number okay a few months ago because as some of y'all may know your girl be doing monkey run videos sometimes just to switch up my content a little bit so i had one on the monkey run and i had he's actually in the video so it's not even like i just hopped on it just to get some meet some people meet some connects and stuff so i he's actually <laughs> He's actually in the video, <laughs> which I should not have put him in that video. Um, so I met him on the monkey run. So this this is actually a part of a video. So I met him. I forgot what I had asked him, but whatever I had asked him, he answered me, and then we started just going back and forth on the app. And the conversation got so long that I had to pretty much cut the turn the camera off. And I was still screen recording on my phone, but I cut that clip out of the video, so the video wasn't too long. Pretty much, we was like talking, we was getting to know each other. He was on the East Coast, so some of y'all may know. When I go on the Monkey Run, I meet a lot of dudes on the East Coast that be, I mean, they be cute and everything, and I'm cute. Then we be trying to fly real good. But I'm just playing. Most of the people on the monkey run that I meet that I either build like real good friendships with or I've talked to in the past have came from like the east coast so I'm not gonna say what state because I don't, I don't need y'all to actually be figuring stuff out that much but just know I met him on the monkey run he was on the east coast okay he well screw it y'all probably still gonna be able to figure it out but <laughs> he had asked me for my number and I, at that time, I wasn't really looking to be talking to nobody. I was just honestly just on the app, just on the app. But I thought he was cute. So I was like, uh, I might have to. So he asked me for my number, but I didn't really want to give him my number. So I was like, well, you can take my Instagram. And all this is in the video. So if y'all figure it out, y'all figure it out, whatever. But the boy was low-key a stalker, okay? I gave him, I was going to give him my Instagram. But he was like, I don't be on Instagram. I don't have social media, da, da, da. So I was like, okay. I'll take your number, but you're not getting mine. Like, I'm not gonna give you my number. Because first of all, I didn't even know, which I don't know if y'all know this, if y'all do go on a monkey run and y'all do meet somebody that wants y'all number, you, th this is another reason why I didn't wanna give him my number because the way you gotta send your number is so freaking stupid. You can't send the whole number. You gotta send like, the the area code and then like you gotta send it in little sections i don't have time to be sending a number look you either get the whole thing or yeah so I, that was don't judge me that was another reason why i didn't really want to give him my number because i didn't feel like doing all that just to be 
just to be completely honest with y'all y'all can have your own thoughts and opinions on why i just did i just don't i find it stupid i had text so i finished making the video i had text him and i was just like telling him like this is my number so i had only had his he only had my number i had only had his number for a whole hour a whole hour i fit i think i think after i met him on the, the app then i met like a few other people on the app and it took me like a good extra hour after meeting him. So it already had took me an hour to text him from the jump. And then when I did text him, this boy went the extra mile is to call me with the first hour of having my number. I don't like, like if I'm with you, like if we dating or whatever, or you family, and you just need to call me real quick. I don't mind if you just gotta call me real quick. But if 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 I'm just talking to you and you're a guy and I'm interested and you just call me out of nowhere and we not that close yet, like that's all right. It's not a riff. I wouldn't say that's a red flag considered to me, but I would just be like, you know what, you you kind of doing too much right now because we not we not on that level yet. <laughs> like we're not there yet. He called me and didn't even say like he was gonna call me. He just called me. So I'm trying to airdrop the video from my phone to my MacBook so I can edit the video, get the video out for y'all. So he keep he calls me once and I'm like, okay, like maybe that was by accident like there's no way because almost every guy I talk to they be like is it cool if I call you like they'll ask this boy on the other hand just took his own took matters into his own hands okay he called me I'm like thinking like well there's just no way he he meant to call me <laughs> he he meant to call me this soon like we only had our number each other's number for like an hour I, I let that one go I ignored that one because I was still trying to airdrop so I'm like boy you're not about to mess my eardropping up like <laughs> I'm getting this video on my computer so I can start editing. Then he calls me a second time. So this is the first hour of him having my number. He already called me two times. So I was like, okay, see, this is, you already kind of like turning me off. Like, I don't, even want, I don't even really want you like that no more. Like, you is cute. You is somehow I won't, but you know, I don't really want you like that no more because you, you doing too much. I think I texted him. No, he had texted me. I forgot what the message said. He had texted me. When he had texted me, I replied back and I was like, I, I'm doing some right now, but I'll let you know when I'm free. So he was like, all right. I don't even remember the next time he called me, but literally he had, my, th this is the same day, okay? This is the same freaking day. All this is happening. He freaking, he trying to text me. He like, well, let, just let me know when you're free. So I'm doing, I'm, now I'm cleaning the house. I'm doing the dishes. So he freaking, well, just let me know when you're free. I just want to talk to you. The, I'm like, boy, you is doing too much. Like you could be the finest man on this planet, but if you start doing extra, extra like that, I don't really want you no more. Like you just, you, I'm, uh, you could be cool, you could be fine, I don't know what. But I, I gotta be attracted to you, like physically, mentally. You can't annoy me too much, cause then I'm going I'm gonna get really, really petty and start just picking with you. And then uh, you see, that's why I just start stay away stay away and just let the people that I'm cool with and that I like to be around just be around those people because I, I just don't have the time I started kind of getting a little annoyed and I was like okay so I think I just I didn't even text him back that day <laughs> I didn't text him I never picked up none of his phone calls so I think he called me like three or four times that day but then like the last two calls he kind of like spaced out in between so it wasn't like back to back i was like i had to go to i had to work the next day so i woke up i used to wake up at like six something because like that was when i was still working from home so i woke up at like 6 50 i think so it was six something i don't know he freaking texts me so remind y'all he on the east coast so the east coast and the west coast is on two different times all right he when it's like six i well not to be exact before somebody take me serious but like if it's six o'clock here that could be freaking eight nine o'clock on the way um, on the east coast so like he already up uh, uh, you know i'm just waking up and look here okay i'm not gonna sit here and say like every single little supporter is gonna get to know me like meet me in person or whatever but i'll tell y'all now if if i look like i just woke up nine times out of ten i literally just woke up don't ask me nothing personal don't ask me no serious questions where i gotta really pay attention because i'm not gonna freaking it's just not gonna register in my brain so he over here trying to text me when can i call you can i call then then as i'm texting him he asked me when can he call me <laughs> 
as I'm texting him back, letting him know I'm at work, he called me. I didn't even get the opportunity to respond back to this message. Like he text, he sent the message, called instantly. How does that make sense? How does that work? You So pretty much you just wasted a few seconds out of your time to text me just to turn around and call me. I didn't answer that call because I'm like, you're really doing the most now. Like this is like your, your fourth, fifth, maybe even sixth call at this point. You only have my number for not even a whole day. He, so I was like, I'm at work. <laughs> I get off at this time, meaning my time. This boy calls me. The time I told him I'm off on my time, he calls me at that time on his time. I'm, <laughs> I'm like, where in the world do I meet the, the idiotic? It just, don't make, it just don't make no sense to me. It really just don't. So I'm like, when he called me and it was his time, but the time I told him, I was just like, dude, did you not think like, oh, she's on the West Coast, so let me call her at that time on her time. <laughs> it didn't even make, I was really annoyed because I'm like, why are you calling me? And then he was like, I, I called you around the time you said she was off. And I was like, oh, that's why he, boy, that, that does not mean that we on the same time. I don't know if he knew that. I don't know because he seemed kind of intelligent when I was talking to him but then at the same time I've noticed that a lot of people come across as intelligent they are not that intelligent. I was kind of just not really feeling him but I was like on the app we had it was like a weird connection so I was like well maybe not even thinking that he gonna change but I was just like well maybe Maybe if I just give it a few days to let it die down, hopefully he will understand that we don't have to do this every day. I let it die down. Well, no, actually before I let it die down, y'all, before I let it die down, I told him, I was like, we don't have to talk on the phone every day. Like we don't have to talk. We can text, we can possibly call for a few seconds, but at the same time, your girl just don't be in the mood to be on the phone every single day. I told him that, he was like, I know, I'm just, I just don't want you to forget about the kid. <laughs> and I'm like, boy, I don't even know you like that. Like, you making it seem like we didn't been talking for a few months and I'm, if I don't call you, you just think I'm gonna just abandon you. Like, and I told him, I was like, no, like, I'm busy. Like, I do, I told him I do YouTube. I told him I work. I told him, like, all this like i didn't tell him everything because it was so like close to like we had just met so i was like giving him some information like look i do have a life outside of just talking to you he acting like he understand it right he this boy did not it just flew right over his head like a freaking airplane so i let it die down like i just told y'all i let it die down i let it die down for like two or three days i text him I think it was like a Friday or a Saturday I texted him. So I was like, what's up? I'm just trying to just get to see like how he feeling, if he kind of upset. Cause I know how how he, how much he trying to call me. Like I'm trying to see like, is he upset the fact that I didn't text him for like that many days? Cause I did, I didn't even want to not text him for that, those days, but I was just like, boy, you really getting on the nerve. That's why, that's how you know I was giving him a bit of a doubt because normally I would have just left it. I would have just like, you know what, I'm cool. He was cute. We had a, a little cool little connection. So I was like, okay, let me just let it die down. Normally I would not let it die down. I either talk to you or we're not talking at all. I don't normally ghost people. I just let them know. Like I'll be like, look, I don't really want to talk to you no more. Like deuces like i'm like that person like i'll tell you like i don't want to just sit there and have you like oh she she gonna respond <laughs> i ain't never respond so i I, just, I don't know well i have ghosted somebody a few people but it, it's very rare i do it like i'll let you know if i don't want to talk to you so that's why i'm like i'm letting it die down i'm letting it die down and i text him now he got a little attitude but he got an attitude like he my man's like boy you ain't my man i don't first of all i ain't even met you in real life i don't know how tall you is all I know is you got a little cute little face and you got a cool little energy. <laughs> That's all I know. I text him so he kind of got like a little attitude. So he kind of like texting me, but he trying to figure out like, why am I texting him? Like, first of all, boy, don't nobody need you. I was just texting you, checking on you. I was like, yeah, see, I think he said like, what was I doing or something? Or he, he pretty much brought up the fact that I didn't text him for like two or three days. When he brought that up, I was like, I, I had told him too. I was like, I'm not really looking for nobody like to be talking to nobody right now. 
but you kind of doing the most with this whole phone call thing like i'm not looking but you are i am i think you're cute i'm attracted to you so just kind of chill on the whole calling phone thing you know so <laughs> i was really trying to give this boy the benefit of the doubt that's how much i don't do stuff this whole entire story time of me telling y'all what happened half of the stuff that i'm doing in the story time i don't do on the daily or when i'm talking to somebody so that's how you know i'm trying to give this boy the benefit of the doubt and he keeps just screwing it and screwing it and screwing it he's like trying to sit there i don't i don't be feeling like mentoring y'all females wow do you know who you talking to like <laughs> I don't know if you think you know who you're talking to because i don't i don't think you know who you're talking to i'm like where's the where's law boy don't nobody need you i got my own money i'll tell you dude that quick i got my own money i got all these other you know i just need you there for me emotionally mentally like that's all i be asking about so i told i just went i normally told y'all i normally would just ghost at this point or i would let you know i'm not interested i got i was like this boy really got me messed up like you you really got me messed up so i sent i sent a freaking paragraph <laughs> i barely know this boy i sent a paragraph at the end of the paragraph i'm like yeah this is gonna be my last time messaging you y'all hear that right this is gonna be my last time messaging you now I, I'm, I'm not going to go into detail on what the whole message said because to be honest after I sent the message I blocked him and then I deleted all the conversation so I don't even have the receipts or nothing like that I wish I could I wish I would have kept them I told him I was like for my I said some some for my channel and I was texting him he was like oh you do only fans what did he just ask me that this is for your only fans what I just told you did I do YouTube like <laughs> what so when he, I'm like did when he talking about mentoring y'all all females, I was like, first of all, I'm not y'all females. I am Tania, thank you very much. Get to know my name, know it right, or I'm not gonna be talking to you. I was like, I do YouTube, I don't have no OnlyFans, I don't know what other time, I was freaking going in as I'm like, if I was with him. As I told y'all, my last message, block, delete the messages, all that. I thought this was the end of talking to him. No, this boy takes my number and messaged me. I didn't even know that you could message somebody on your, I think it was his Gmail or it was like an email account or I don't freaking, I don't know. All I know is it said good night and a whole bunch of numbers at Gmail or at Yahoo. I'm like, I might actually have those messages. Anyways, y'all, I thought I had some receipts to show y'all. I'm telling y'all, y'all my little, y'all my tea grabbers. Y'all be taking all the tea, y'all be giving out. He gonna message me and was like, you block me? Like, this is what I'm telling y'all, he's a stalker kind of. Any dude would just be like, you know what? She was cool, but I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go to this way. Or, or, or I know there is some dudes out there that when they get rejected, then they get mad and they be like, you wasn't even that cute anyway. Like I've had that happen before. To me, that don't make no sense, but there is just people out there like that. I after this whole thing happened and I blocked, I had to block the freaking, the second number or email or whatever he had messaged me on, I had to block that. He, I think he FaceTimed me. I'm like, I don't, I don't know this, this, it wasn't even a number. So I'm like, I don't even know who this is. <laughs> I'm sitting next to my brother and he hear my phone ring and he look at me, he look at how I'm looking at my phone and he looks at my phone and he's like, who is that? And I'm like, I don't. I wish I knew so I could know who this is and pick it up or, or you know, so I'm like, I don't know who it is. So I didn't pick it up. He texts me after, literally after the phone rings and I let it ring through. He texts me and was like, so I'm blocked now. I don't think I'm like the finest girl in the world because I've seen some real beautiful women out there in the world, but I don't think I'm ugly. So I'm like, there's no way I'm just the only person that he can talk to at this particular moment like as as cute as he was i'm pretty sure he had like a few girls trying to talk to him like there's just no way you just ain't got no no girls or nothing trying to talk to you like you can go talk to them because now you're kind of just making me a little annoyed kind of turning me off a little bit you know i don't really want you like that anymore i was just like yeah so now i kind of be a little scared to give dudes my number because literally like after that like a month ago a dude asked me for my number 
a dude asked me for my number and I was like, why don't be on Instagram like that? But you can take my Instagram until I feel comfortable. <laughs> I don't feel comfortable and and that freaking yeah that that situation kind of went south too because then he got mad because I didn't give him my number so see do you see where this little stalker situation then led to dudes getting mad at me because I don't feel comfortable giving my number at the well shoot at the same time it is my number and if I don't feel comfortable I ain't gonna give it to you but I'm just saying you see do you see how this boy got me feel a little iffy iffy about giving other dudes my numbers <laughs> i did and the, the dude that got mad at me for not giving him like my number i was just like i did really want to give him my number but i was so scared because i was like when i when i do something once and i mess it up or or it it leads me in this whole entire story time type of thing i won't do it again so i was i was looking at him and i was like dang he is fine but at the same time this dude didn't scare life out of me to give my number to you so i i mean i would i would like to give you my number but at the same time you girl kind of scared i mean he never gave me his socials or anything and then then i started thinking like well maybe that's just like something was off because he didn't have social media i don't know i really don't like the whole calling back to back you ain't got social media I, yeah i don't know then he was talking about coming out to cali for weed and i'm like boy what like i'm not i'm not i'm not saying it like that because I, I i don't smoke but i have heard people say that cali got some you know Good, good. but at the same time i'm like boy is you trying to come out here to meet me or is you trying to come out here for the weed because that just ain't adding up <laughs> that's not you know that's not something you say if anybody watching the story time right now you might want to take some bullet points or or fill, i don't even know how i can't say fill out they vibe because i thought he had a cool vibe so i don't know i, I know after that after that situation when I go on a monkey run and they be like, can I get your number? I'd be like, I had a stalker situation and I met that stalker on this app. So I don't really feel comfortable giving you my number. That's pretty much what happened with this story time. So y'all let me know what y'all would've need because to be honest, he kind of started scaring me a little piece. Y'all know the deal, smash the like button, comment something you want to see below. Also subscribe, click the bell, join the gang. If you're new, then definitely subscribe because we're going nowhere. But uh, definitely follow me on my social medias. Follow me on my Instagram, the real underscore is to me as well. But until next time, remember it's T-Gang or no gang, we out.